Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Death Guard Legion Praetor for Warhammer the Horus Heresy from Forge World. This Praetor uh, will cost you £26.50 and consists of 11 resin components. £26.50 is a little bit more expensive than you normally pay. I think the Emperor's Children Praetor, which was a bargain at £24, is... Well, it's just different, isn't it? It's just different. I really like the look of both of these Death Guard Praetors. I think they've done great justice, especially this one with the scythe. Uh, let's unbox him and have a look at all those uh, detail parts. Um, obviously, I've been purchasing quite a few Forge World models and things recently to, to complete all of the six legions um, that I plan on completing by the end of February. Uh, and I've been very, very impressed, both by the new kits and, um, you know, the, uh, the old kits that they've recently uh, produced. Um, I've had no issues whatsoever with them. Anyway, there's your 32mm base, I think. This is your cloak. Um, just a standard kind of cloak. I can't see anything new there. There's no markings. It's a bit, I say lazy. You know, you compare this one, you, considering this is more expensive, it's, yeah, it's not, I guess it just reflects Death Guard. You know, they're not that ostentatious. They don't have lots of filigree and gold and things like that. Maybe I'm a bit, being a bit harsh compared to... Um, uh, the Emperor's Children uh, Praetor, but come on guys, at the end of the day, this is a Praetor in charge of like a thousand Space Marines. Um, I, I would have liked at least some markings and things on this cloak. It's a bit of a bit of a down point. Let's have a look at the scythe then. Um, again, scythe is pretty, pretty standard, pretty straightforward. You're not going to be able to tell much difference between this scythe and one of the Death Shroud Terminator scythes, or even uh, the... Uh, scythe um, upgrade pack uh, that you can get separate um, that's a bit of a disappointment too I would have liked some gnarls and things so so far the Terminator Praetor is is winning I think um, you've got a tactical rock yeah that's just a bit hmm. and then a chainmail backed um, sort of groin set of um, plated armor you've got the power plant now this is where this model shines um, very reminiscent of the of the schools and things on the plastic Praetor uh, that we got in uh, Age of Darkness box set, and it does have the, um, and it does have this incense type vent, and it has the Roman numerals of the the fourteen there. I don't know if you can see that, guys, but yeah, it has that at least. It doesn't have um, anything else other than those three skulls and and that. So that's a decent. Uh, it's going to be a pain to get all the flash out of there. I've just realised. Um, so yeah, that's the power plant. Quite good. Then you've got the uh, the right um, sort of shoulder and elbow that's backed with some chain mail now that's quite standard straightforward quite plain um, and then you've got the left shoulder pauldron uh, of course the cloak is going to cut that uh, shoulder pauldron in half um, you've got some chain mail you've got the uh, it's actually a combi uh, flamer i thought it was uh, like grav or um, grenade launcher or something but it's not it's just a, a combi flamer which does suit them a little bit i guess uh, but that's just uh, arm slung. And then you've got the, the two choices of heads. Of course, I'm going to go for this uh, helmeted version. It's not a massive fan of it, if I'm perfectly honest. Uh, I think the both the Mark 6s and the Mark 3s um, upgrade sets are, are better. Uh, the helmetless head is probably a little bit better, in my opinion. And then, for some reason, you've got some extra grenades. And then you've got the body uh, himself, which is luckily quite good and it's probably the highlight of the whole kit. Um, I like this strange kind of armor with the feet that are pointed. It is very, very uh, Mark III, Mark II even um, in its in its uh, inception. You've got this big kind of, I don't know, belly button incense thing. Uh, you've got some cables, some vents. I mean, you can definitely see the shared aesthetics between this and the, the plastic kits um, that Death Guard got for 40K. Uh, so I like that. And it might mean that I can, you know, m use these in 40K too as like a sort of uncorrupted cleaner Death Guard army. So there you go. That's my uh, unboxing and first look. Bit of a disappointment, I have to say. I much preferred the uh, uh, Cataphracty um, 
Death Guard Praetor and I still prefer the Emperor's Children Praetor, probably one of the best ones, um, along with the Word Bearers one. Uh, but what do you guys think of this Praetor? Uh, please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Death to the False Emperor.